Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, and I'm here to give you the live news. So make sure if you're new to the channel, you gotta hit that like button, man. Hit that, spam that like button. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, man. Hey, shout out to Jalen Brown, man. Uh, Jalen Brown really been going hard for Kyrie Irving Pauls. <laughs> But he been really speaking up for him. He is really seeking for some answers. He's looking for justice. He's looking for solutions. He's putting the pressure on the Nets owner. And he pretty much gonna call him out, call out the Nets owner and see like, yo, what's going on, man? What's taking so long? You said that he's not anti-Semitic. The NBA said that he's not anti-Semitic. Y'all know he's good in the hood. Why y'all still tripping? Let's see what Jalen Brown got to say. Let's get it in. What that bothered you? Um, and what about Joe Sy's comment? And then what, if anything, that the leak has done that bothered you? <sighs> yeah, his response was alarming to me. I tweeted that out yesterday. He didn't say that uh, the organization was working together to get Kyrie back on the floor. He, he said that he had more work to do. Mm. Um, and our society has more work to do, including Joe Sy. And it's 2022. Oh. Um, it takes 10 minutes of time to see who you know, these business owners, corporations, etc. cetera, uh -huh. who they're associated with, who they're doing business with, who they're affiliated with. Yeah. Um, vice yeah. President of the Union. And it's part of my job to protect our players legally. And to see Phil Knight first come out and condemn, you know, Kyrie, and also see Joe Sy say he has more work to do, I think it's time for a larger conversation. And yeah. Adam came out and said a statement that he doesn't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic. Uh-huh. Um, yet he's still suspended. Uh -huh. Definitely. Um, so those are my thoughts. Yeah, I like that, Jalen. Talk to him, man. Talk to him. Put that pressure on him, man. Keep on putting that pressure on him. I salute you, my brother. I respect that. How? What do you think the reaction should be with him? Uh, if, if that's not the way to do it, like what? What should be the response? Uh, I said this before. I think it's uncharted territory. I think it's no distinction between you know, what somebody says versus some, what somebody posts. Exactly. Um, and I guess that that's what they're trying to figure out. You know, the terms that the Brooklyn Nets instituted for his return, uh, I voice, you know, my discomfort. Some of our players, some people in the media voice some of their discomfort with that. And, you know, we've yet to hear, you know, what is the, the latest with that situation? You know, it's still an indefinite suspension. He's already missed five or six games. So, you know, how many games is he gonna continue to miss? Is it a, another situation going on there? Is it a larger situation going on there? Is it another conversation that need to be had? Um, we've yet to find out. So I'm, I'm staying tuned and I'm, I'm um, keeping my phone on and just see what is going to come out of this situation. Exactly, man. What what else is going on? If he met with everybody, everybody said that he's not anti-Semitic. What's the issue? What's the problem? Is there another issue that y'all trying to create? Is there some other underlying issue that we're not aware of? We need to know because we're going to keep on putting pressure. I'm going to keep on putting pressure. Jaylee going to keep on putting pressure. Salute, man. I appreciate him going to the media and saying this. So this question as a part of the executive committee, uh, do you have concerns about the, like kind of the parameters that were set up for his return to play as far as just creating like a, a level of steps of things that have to be fulfilled? And do you think that's something that needs to be addressed in discussions over the next collective bargaining agreement? Absolutely. I think that, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this nope. before in our league. So Never. Um, to, to say that this is what is needed for somebody to return, uh, we just thought that was excessive. You know, players thought that was excessive. So um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to be something that'll be a, a CBA negotiation point or, or talking mechanism. I just know that there's sensitivity, you know, on both sides that need to be addressed. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the union and the NBA and the Brooklyn Nets coming to a solution in the near future. See, man, this is how, especially athletes, should stick together. It's a shame to see Shaq, former athlete Shaq, um, Charles Barkley and the rest of these goof troops condemn this man, call him names, call him idiots. Not too long ago, y'all was playing in the NBA. Not too long ago, people was calling y'all names. And then when y'all get the opportunity to broadcast and to commentate the NBA, now you have become the people that you used to hate when you was playing basketball. So it's really a shame to see our former athletes, our former 
people that we used to watch back in the day now go at Kyrie. This is how the NBA players should should stick along. This is how we should stick along, stand up for each other, and respect each other. Shout out, man. And I, I know that there's been a lot of support for like Kyrie's character and things you mentioned, like Adam saying, but obviously it took him a while to be willing to confront the issue that people have with the content he shared and apologize for it. So considering that the way that he handled the situation seemed kind of unchartered, is it reasonable for organizations to try to at least find some sort of way for Man, the player to up. demonstrate contrition when they feel like the player's not doing it in a way that people, the public will accept? I'm sorry, what's your question? Sorry. Hold on, hold on. He said that the public will accept. The public is accepting his apology. See, look. Listen to the way this <laughs> this script reading person is giving the answer. He said that the public, no, 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 no. The public wants him to play. The public forgives him. The public understands that he didn't say nothing. So don't be running with a false narrative saying that, well, uh, it took him a while to, uh, you know, apologize. And, you know, the public wants to know that he said, nah, the public wants him to get his money. The public wants him to get back on the court. So don't put that on us when it's really y'all. That's the question is, was it, even though you have issues with the way that the, the parameters of Nets set out, uh -huh. is it fair for the Nets to try to create some sort of, you know, way for him to satisfy everybody's need for there to be an apology that they feel is sincere? I'm not sure how to answer that question. Um, I think you are asking for a need to satisfy the common public, and I'm not sure if that is something that um, Kyrie is looking to do. I think that I don't think he meant any harm by posting it. Obviously, he, you know, it came off as insensitive to a lot of people, but Adam came out with a statement he doesn't believe Kyrie. No, it didn't. No. Who are all these a lot of people? <laughs> look at the comments. Go look at other people's videos' comments. We the people are, are not offended. So I don't know, man, bro. It ain't the it ain't the people, it's the media. Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic. Joe Sy came out and said a statement that they don't believe he is anti-Semitic. Those were their words, so mm -hmm. he's already apologized you know, formally. Um, it was IG post, he said he hasn't supports all walks of life, yep. uh, et cetera. Yep. Um, but the comment that Joe Sy made, which I feel like bothered, you know, a lot of people was like, he has more work to do. Yep. Like, what does that mean? Yep. Our society has more work to do, including Josiah. Um, exactly. So I'm curious to know what that is, what that means. Yep. And everybody's tuned in and watching the situation because this is our league. You know, we all are basketball players, but we all are human beings as well. So mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to seeing the union and NBA figure out what the next sure. steps are. I like it. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, I My like friend it. used to pay $160 like for it, car insurance. Get your, get now your look how much phone. he pays. But I, I, I like it. I like it, man. Shout out to Jalen Brown, man, for speaking up, for talking for Kyrie, for putting the pressure out on the Nets owner, for, for putting the pressure out on the NBA, NBA, the commissioner, and everybody else. I appreciate Jalen Brown for uh, doing this, and we're going to see what happens, man. Y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know how y'all think about this. Another day, the man is still suspended. It's been seven games, and he has still more work to do. What exactly does that mean? What are you talking about? Y'all leave a comment down below. We got more news later on today. Hit that subscribe button. I'm telling y'all, man, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm going to keep y'all update with all this stuff. And I got more videos to drop. I'm out.